guys thanks for coming back for another figure review uh, this time we're gonna do something a little bit different uh, I normally do Marvel Legends or Marvel Universe figures or um, SH figure arts figures we're gonna take a look at the new Bespin Luke from the Star Wars black line um, this is from Hasbro's new six inch figure line uh, we've already seen wave one and wave two is out in stores now uh, wave one had Darth Maul your X-Wing Fighter Luke, R2-D2, and a Sand Trooper. Um, really, really great wave. Loved it. Wave 2 had Boba Fett, uh, which is a re-release from the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Boba Fett. Um, Han Solo from Episode 4. Slave Leia and Greedo. And of that wave, I think the only one I really didn't care for was Slave Leia. And that's only because her paint apps were a little lacking. Um, Greedo is a great figure. Han is an amazing figure. And Boba Fett, well, let's just face it, Boba Fett's freaking awesome. Um, wave 3 is going to have Bespin Luke, a Stormtrooper, um, and I believe it's either an Episode 2 or Episode 3 Obi-Wan, and they are repacking Han Solo in. Now, don't get me wrong, Han Solo is a great figure, but there's no reason why they shouldn't have doubled up on the Stormtrooper. Um, so I saw these pop up on eBay. I grabbed them. So I grabbed the Bezin Luke and the Stormtrooper. I wanted to get these two uh, figures in hand, you know, first and foremost. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the Bezin Luke. Let's just get that right out of the way. Uh, and I'll kind of I'll kind of go over my gripes with the figure. The Stormtrooper is amazing. Uh, perfect figure. Um, definitely will be army building those. I think I'm up to I think 18 or 19 Sand Troopers. I would love to get 20 Stormtroopers, um, but they're going to be very hard to find when they first come out. So let's go ahead and talk about the uh, Bespin Luke here. I'm going to back up the camera. and actually, Well, actually, before we do let's take a look at the face sculpt. And this is where the figure is getting a lot of attention, uh, negative attention. The face sculpt on this is not the greatest. The face sculpt, it just doesn't look like... Uh, doesn't look like Luke to me. I mean, the Wave 1 Luke was great. Had a great likeness to Mark Hamill, I think. This one, not so much. And my biggest gripe with this is the eyes. The eyes on this figure are horrible. The eyes on this figure basically is what, in my opinion, what ruins the figure. They are very um, facing down, kind of like surprised. I'm just not feeling it. And we saw the derpy eyes, you know, when the when the prototypes first came out and they were shown. And I was really hoping they were going to correct that. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like they have. Now, this is a uh, basically a prototype figure, so it's possible the retail version could be different. But in my experience, it's not going to be. All right, so that's my biggest gripe. A uh, quick comparison, I do have the X-Wing Luke. We'll take a look at them side by side. Let's head back up the camera. Oh. And as you can see, once the camera focuses, I think this one is actually a better likeness to Luke Skywalker. Um, that, now the heads on these are interchangeable, so you can pop the head off this guy and put it on Bespin Luke, which I will show you at the end of the video, uh, but that is a possibility. Let's talk about the accessories that he comes with. So I'm going to back up a little bit. First thing you get is he comes with a belt, which is a new piece, it looks like. The blaster that he comes with is the same blaster he had with the X-Wing Luke. And I actually just got this figure today. There we go. So the blaster he comes with. It's pretty nice. It's got some decent paint detail on it. They painted the hand the um, the grip. And they you know left it silver at the top. Very much like the um, one you got with the X-Wing Luke. Um, 
His holster is very similar to Han Solo's where it'll peg in, and that's really nice. He has a peg hole for his lightsaber right there, and I'll show that in a minute. He'll hold his blaster just fine. So he'll hold it just fine. That doesn't look too bad. His articulation, we'll talk about that. I'll give you a better look at the costume. His head is on a ball joint, so it'll go back, it'll go forward, no problem. His arms will go up all the way to the sides. And they, of course, will rotate all the way around. Single bend at the elbow, not a big fan of that. Wish he had more double jointed elbows. I think if these figures had the double jointed elbows, it would be killer. Um, he has a swivel wrist and he does have a joint right there so he can actually bend his wrist kind of funny kind of so he can hold his lightsaber so just like the um, X-Wing Luke which I really do like that joint that does work pretty well his waist um, he will actually bend down quite far you have to kind of work with it and the sculpt kind of hides that joint which is nice He'll bend back about that far. His legs, um, he's got an upper thigh, thigh swivel. His legs are, will go up, they'll go back, and they'll go out about that far. Double jointed knees, which is good. You just heard the paint crack on this. Uh, he does have ankle pivot. And while we're looking at this, I just recently got the Hot Toys Luke in. And I don't know, the, the feet just, they don't look right to me. They kind of flare out right there. It, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't look at all like what I remember from The Empire Strikes Back. So overall with this figure, um, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't think that they, uh, this wasn't a slam dunk for Hasbro this time, like they were with the Wave 1 Luke and the rest of the figures. He comes with a lightsaber with a blue blade. The blade is removable. His lightsaber will peg into his belt. Now, and it could just be my figure, I don't know, but the plas the way you peg it in is you just basically push it over the little plastic tab. And if I remember right, it kind of sticks out like that. You really have to kind of work it and get it correctly because if you don't, it's going to stick out. And I don't remember the, um, there, that's a little bit better. The X-Wing Luke doesn't do that. The X-Wing Luke, it just, it hangs down. I think this is a weaker piece of plastic right there off the belt. I'm not really sure. Um, but, but that's all right. He'll hold his lightsaber just fine. Pull that out. And you can have him hold it in either hand. I'm sorry, there you go. I usually like to have him hold it in his hand. And then back up a little bit. So that doesn't look too bad. Again, it's not that bad of a figure. You know, again, I'm being kind of nitpicky because, you know, I expect more. You know, I paid more than retail for this figure. I paid 30 bucks shipped, which wasn't too bad. Um, because I didn't want to wait. I, don't, I think these aren't supposed to come out until January or February, and I really didn't want to wait that long. Um, he, I, I haven't done this before yet, so let's pose next to R2-D2 from Wave 1 and see how he looks. So he looks pretty good posed next to R2. Um, so like I said, overall, not a bad figure. If I saw him at retail, would I pick him up? Yeah, I probably would because I'm a Star Wars fan. Um, should you pick them up? I don't know. I mean, if you're a Star Wars fan and you're collecting the entire line like I am, yeah, you gotta get them. If you're cherry picking the line, this might be a figure you skip and wait for a better release down the road. Um, real quick, let me pop off the X-Wing head and put it on this body. And a lot of people are gonna ask me if that how it looks. Now, the flesh tones don't really match, and this head is a little wobbly. You could easily take care of that with a little bit of, um, 
you know, tack or something like that. But that actually looks pretty good. And I'm really contemplating on going to get another another uh, X-Wing loop just to do this. And that doesn't look too bad. Not quite movie accurate, but it, it's not too bad. You know, and you'd have to paint the hair, of course, too, because the hair color on this on this sculpt is a lot lighter, more of a blondish tint to it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for uh, checking out my Bespin Luke Star Wars figure review. Uh, make sure you guys come check us out at www.mucollectorclub.com where we have all the latest news on all your action figure needs. Uh, we're a real great bunch of guys. Come hang out, come join the fun, talk with us. Uh, up next, I will have the Stormtrooper review, so stay tuned for that one, okay? Alright, thanks for checking me out, and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.